friends, let's practice another problem. We're doing composite shapes, centroids by composite shapes. We've got a little shape over here that they ask us to find X bar and Y bar of, and we need to break it into parts. How do you break it into parts? Well, it's, it's up to you, okay? Here's our origin over here at this corner. Uh, you could do one big rectangle and subtract away that triangle. I don't know that that saves you anything versus just saying, okay, I've got number one, a rectangle, number two, I've got a triangle, and number three, I'm gonna subtract away that circle, okay? So three shapes, you know what? I am a fan of the table method from now on for centroids, okay? If you're doing composite shapes, the table method is the way to go. Let's do that. So shape, one, two, three. And then across the top up here, I'm going to have an X bar, a Y bar, an A, an X A, and a Y A. Okay. Here we go. Okay. my last little table here look how beautiful remember we got to put good stuff in that table if we're going to get good stuff out of it and remember our centroid equation is this okay the uh, i'll do it over here uh, x bar is equal to the sum of the x a's over the sum of the a's y bar is equal to the sum of the y a's over the sum of the a's so we'll get this information here from our table okay so let's go Shape number one, shape number one, where is X bar, okay? So shape number one is a rectangle, so where's half the rectangle? And just move your hand in the X direction. Okay, where in the, it's, it's half of 0.7, which is 0.35. And about Y bar for piece number one. So in the Y direction, where is piece number one? It's half of 0.6, which is 0.3. And then the area, 0.7 times 0.6, which is 0.42. And I'll fill out the rest of that here in a minute. Let's go to shape number two. We're on shape number two, the triangle. Where in the x direction is the bottom of shape number two? Well, remember for triangles, x bar for a right triangle is one third the base from the fat end of the triangle, okay? So it would be over here, not a third from the skinny end. It doesn't make any sense that you would balance it over there, right? It's over here. So, but, but all dimensions are always referenced from the origin. So I gotta go 0.7 to get to the triangle, then plus 0.2, which is 0.9, okay? Hey, you! Give me. So what is Y bar for shape two? Here's shape two. What is Y bar? Okay, right triangles. Like the base is a third of the base. The height is a third of the height. So the height is 0.6. So a third of that is 0.2. And then what do we have? One half base times height. The base is 0.6, the, the height is 0.6, both of them. So that's 0.36 divided by 2, 0.18. Okay, we got one more to go, and that is shape number three, okay? So where is X bar for shape number three? Well, shape number three is, its centroid is like right in the middle of the circle. So X bar is at, whoop, bam, 0.7, okay? And Y bar, where is it Y bar? Well, it's whoop. Point three. And the area, this is the tricky part, not really that tricky. The area is not really there, so I know for a fact the area is going to be a negative, okay? Got to be. And what is the area? It's just pi r squared, isn't it? Pi times, they gave me the diameter is point two, so that's point one squared. Okay, and that is, duh. That's probably easy, and y'all got it already, right? Uh, 0.1 squared times pi equals 0 0.0314. 0 0.0314, okay? 
And these are in meters, so this is a that's a little number there, isn't it? So now all we have to do is just multiply the rest of our table out. So 0.35 times 0.42 equals that's 0.147. And then 0.3 times 0.42, that's 0.126. And then 0.9 times 0.18 is 0.162. And then 0.2 times 0.18 is 0.036. And then finally, 0.7 times negative 0.0314 is point negative 0.02198. And then one more, 0.3 times negative 0.0314 equals negative 0 0.00942. Okay? All right, so what we need over there is we need the sum of the XA's and we need the sum of the A's and we need the sum of the YA's, don't we? Well, where are we going to get that? Well, that's easy. Sum of the A's comes from this column, sum of the XA's come from that column, and the sum of the YA's come from that column. Okay? All we got to do is add this stuff up. So here we go. 0.42 plus 0.18 minus 0.0314 equals 0.5686. Okay, the sum of the XA's 0.147 plus 0.162 minus 0.02198 is 0.287. And then the sum of the YA's 0.126 plus 0.036 minus 0.00942 is 0.153. Okay. And so here we go. X bar. X bar is the sum of the XA's 0.287 divided by 0.5686. And then y bar is going to be 0.153 divided by 0.5686. Okay, we're one calculator away. 0.287 divided by 0.5686 equals 0.505. And these were in meters, weren't they? There's x bar. And then 0.153 divided by 0.5686.269. And there is y bar. Okay? So I think these are really nice when you just make these little tables. You gotta be super careful about every single little thing you put in your table because one mistake and then your answer's wrong. So Hope that helps. That's the method of composite shapes. See you next time.